Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the entire situation that's going on in Detroit with that Detroit pastor. If you guys remember a few months ago, it happened back in October, and I didn't do a story on my channel about it, but I know a Vice show, he did a story about it. And it was about a young man who was about 25 years old. His name was Dante Smith. And what happened, this man was really religious who was finding himself with God. He has a lot of really deep YouTube videos posted. And from what he found out is that his wife was cheating with the pastor and that she had also gotten pregnant, but either she had an abortion or she had a miscarriage or something like that. So he was really, really upset and he ended up going to the church to go confront the pastor and he had a brick in his hand. Pastor is 36 year old Keon Allison. He ends up pulling out a gun and shooting this man in the middle of the church. Dante later on died from his injuries and this whole situation was a mess. This was a viral story back in October. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip from October and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an update. Check this out, I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Even today we're learning a lot more about the victim. Friends and family say he had a good job. He was a football star in high school and they say he did not deserve this. 25 year old Deontay Smith shot and killed yesterday at the City of God Church on Detroit's west side. It was his pastor who allegedly pulled the trigger after Smith threatened him with a brick. It didn't have to end like this. It didn't have to end like this for him. He was a great boy. Family members say the pastor was like a father to Smith, but according to them, he was also sleeping with Smith's wife. He's upset because his wife and the man he looked at as a father figure played him. He cheated, and, and that's not right. He got her pregnant, had a miscarriage and all. Detroit police have questioned the pastor, and the shooting is under investigation, but so far the pastor has not been arrested. And we did go to the pastor's house. No one was home at the time. Coming up tonight at 5, what was Deontay Smith's mental state yesterday? And how long has all of this been going on? For now, we're live on Detroit's west side. Camille Mary, the now Detroit. Camille, thank you. All right, right so you guys just Mr. checked out that video. So now the update is this. A lot of people thought that this pastor was going to go to jail for murder and everything else. But it's now been announced as of yesterday that the pastor is getting off 100%. He will not be doing any time whatsoever. The police are saying that this was self-defense because Dante came at him with a brick. You know, so to me, this entire situation is just extremely disturbing. I, you know, I feel like this is not a self-defense claim. You know, the dude was coming at him with a brick, but at the end of the day, nine times out of ten, who's to say that Dante would have used that brick? I don't think that Dante would have did that necessarily. And had that been going on where he had to hit the pastor with the brick, you can't tell me that the rest of the congregation wouldn't have jumped up and, you know, grabbed Dante and subdued him. You know, so for him to respond to a brick by pulling out a gun and shooting somebody, to me, that says a lot. I feel like this is why a lot of people do not take the church seriously. This is why a lot of people do not want to be involved with the church because there's just so much fuckery going on in the church nowadays. You know, you have pastors asking for new, you know, planes and looking for helicopter blades. You have the pastors of L.A., you know, riding around in fancy cars and everything else. You have pastors out here cheating and screwing other people's wives and getting them pregnant. You know, the whole situation to me is just crazy. And anyone still supporting this pastor going to their church, I question them as well. You know, the pastor has since come out and said that, you know, he didn't cheat and he wasn't creeping with the wife and everything else but I refuse to believe that Dante you know just on a fleeting whim decided to come and confront this pastor with a brick in the middle of the church I believe that he has sufficient proof that his wife was cheating on him with the pastor and this goes on in so many churches around America and so a lot of people just do not take church as seriously as they should because of all the fuckery that's going on so this entire situation is just really sad and I feel like it's a slap in the face to Dante's family the fact that this pastor is walking away with no charges nothing's gonna happen to him he's able to pick up the pieces and move on with his life you know the whole situation is a mess and I don't know what's come of Dante's wife you know where she's at I'm sure she's feeling guilty behind this entire situation because of her lying and her deceit and her cheating she not only lost the person she was creeping with but her husband was also killed because of this so this entire situation is a mess nobody wins in this entire situation whatsoever so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning the pastor not being charged the death of Dante Smith. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.